this is my outdoor system. What's going on here is the uh, pump is pumping into the fish tank and it has filled these just filled these uh, beds with water. That water is slowly draining out of a weep hole down at the bottom. You see that pipe that sticks up the side there? That's water coming out of there. Goes back in after it cleans the water from the fish tank, it goes back into the sump. And that happens about three times a day. The pump stays on for about 15 minutes a day. Well, I mean, 15 minutes three times a day. And um, so there's very little electricity being used. It's just, you know, 45 minutes total all day long. I'd show you the fish, but they're all hiding and can't really see down in there anyhow. So, But uh, I've got some winter vegetables growing here. No, well, no, not these. These are what's left over from the summer, but I've got some, uh, I've got some broccoli and I'm trying to grow some watercress out here, but it's not really doing that well. But the other part of this system, what happens is there's another pump, it's a very, very small pump. It's like an 18 watt pump, and it just continually pumps up into this pipe here, which goes underground, and then it feeds this this uh, raft system here. Um, guess more winter vegetables going in here. Little peas. And over here I'm uh, got this small bed of uh, pumice. Got some arugula and some uh, Let's see, that's uh, mustard greens. I planted some spin or lettuce there, but it didn't take. Now I don't run this very often. I just just enough to keep this um, this uh, pumice moist, and just just for you know getting the starts going there. But it also flows back to the sump. But I'd like to also show you indoor garden. What I've done here is I've, I've made a, a shutter that folds down and I'm going to have to get some more insulation here, but that reflects in, into the window here. It brings light in, a little extra light by reflecting it in here. And then I've got mylar on these uh, on these roll-up shades. To keep all the light I get reflected back down in here to the to the vegetables. The water flows out of out and down into this sump tank. That's a heater there. And from the sump tank it's pumped back up into this large 800-gallon uh, tank where I have approximately 100 fish in there. Some of my larger ones are about one pound. It flows out of the out of this um, fish tank into this little settling tank. It was supposed to be a spin filter, but it just didn't work out very well for a spin filter. But it's it does okay to just um, settle out some of the bigger chunks. And the water comes out of there and flows all the way back over here to this three-quarter inch gravel, which cleans the water and sets up a biofilter. And then back to the back to the vegetables. But I've also got a little tank set up here, and I'm using I'm using this gravel bed as a sump. Um, it pumps up from right there, and uh, and then it um, just returns. So it's all filtered back through the gravel again. But it's it's part of the main system. 
is something that's not part of the main system. This is an independent aquarium. I've got uh, a couple of tilapia, and they're just fun to watch. And so I, I did that. And then I've also got some uh, crayfish in there. They seem to get along. I mean, every once in a while they challenge each other, but, you know, nobody's, nobody's eating the other one. <laughs> so I kind of like these little crayfish. I just got them yesterday. And, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, that's an update on my system. Okay, I'll talk to you later.